Hi everyone, I've got two very special guests with me today. <gasps> Bing! <laughs> it's my two ex-fuck <coughs> me. Are you okay? I tricked one of them. Please don't die, I'm very excited to have you here. Okay. Although we're in your room. Here in my room. <laughs> so we have a bunch of funny stories to tell. So Yay. that's what we're gonna do today. Kids. Pretend to care. <laughs> Story time. <laughs> thumbs up if you got that reference. I thought you said thumbs up if you got a vibrate. I was like, <laughs> Well, that works as well. So, one thing that we did a lot in our flat was to play Mario Party. We used to play Mario Party a lot, and one day we were playing it, and we started quite late. I think we started about like midnight or something. Mm. Yeah, because I used to come home really late because I worked really late. And then I came home and I was super tired, and Amy was always like, Mario Party! So we were playing it one night. It was very intense as always, and it was pretty funny, and it went on for a long time, and you know, you never knew who was going to win, and it got really, really quite intense. And well, then... we knew who wasn't going to win. Is that a fucking joke? <laughs> We'd never played it to the point where you reach the complete end because you normally just turn it off and go to bed. Um, why are you touching my drink? But yeah, so we were playing it, and at the end, these credits come up, and it's all of the um the Japanese names and stuff. It's gonna sound a bit weird and potentially slightly racist, but it's not. Remember, this was really late, so we were like very overtired. And it was the night slept. before my twenty second as well. So we just decided to start reading out the Japanese names at the end and like the funniest voices we could find, like Chaka. <laughs> Just it really like, was not that funny. It wasn't at all, but we were just finding it hysterical and it was just kind of like a shouting match to see who could say it the loudest and the funniest. We didn't think about that it was like 1am and we were shouting out these names. Because we, and we had neighbours. Like, we didn't think about it. We'd that. been really respectful people up to then, because even we were students, we were really quiet. So then basically, <laughs> there was a really loud knock at the door. <laughs> Not like, like it was scary. Like it was a like bang on the door. It was literally like Donald Trump knocking on your door saying <laughs> you're never coming into my country again. So this knock was going on. Amy and Tone shit themselves. Okay. And I don't even fucking use that word lightly. They shit themselves. We were terrified. So the I, lights all go off. I've never I'm been having, that scared in my life. Right. Set the scene. I'm having a poo. <laughs> He keeps knocking and knocking and knocking and we're just ignoring We're like hoping and praying. He like dies, falls down the stairs and just, <laughs> just leaves. Like we had stopped shouting. Like he could have just left and everything would be fine. So <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to go. I had to go. I had to go and answer this door. <laughs> Trousers so, down next to my ankle. Shit. I believe your exact words are, oh for fuck's sake you two, I'll get it then. Just yeah, that's literally what you said. Okay. Trousers around his ankle. So I answer the door, I'm like, hello, you okay? Like I pretend to be like really tired. Like, oh. My go-to thing, if someone's pissed off is like I oh, honestly appreciate that but so literally he was not feeling himself like he was not he feeling was our neighbor eyes. just to clarify he was not feeling it he was like there's so much noise coming from you and I was like oh is that I was asleep I, I was know. asleep and he was like how can you sleep through this con <laughs> like concoction of fucking shit and I was like oh okay well I'm really sorry if they wake you up but they didn't wake me up <laughs> I was like, you wake me up, so just have some consideration. <laughs> and the next day we threw a massive party for my birthday. <laughs> this guy was absolutely fuming, and he was just like, oh, I don't want to hear from you, I want to hear from the giggling girls. And we oh were my both, god, like, we were under hiding under the blanket. <laughs> I was like, Freaking you have out. no right to see these girls. I was like, <laughs> if you want to get to them, you go through me, boo boo pee. <laughs> Well, like we thought that was gonna help, but like, we're not here. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't need to see us to know that we were at fault. <laughs> he was still pretty mad, so he kind of shouted for a long time and then. Not saying he didn't have the right to be mad, but he was being really shitty about it. Yeah. Hey, sorry, you my phone's on loud. Siri, fuck off. There's no need to swear at me. <laughs> Okay, they did come out. I trusted you! I'm sorry, I'm a failure. You can make it up to me by telling the Paul Maham story. <laughs> Paul Maham was excellent. So we were, we were doing the uh, the face swap thing. Tone's whole face swapped with my nose. So my little nostril just had Tone's ridiculously annoying little smiley face. Like, eee! I'm the annoying <laughs> orange. Hey, Apple! Eee! All of that in my nostril. And then her face had just become like the side of my nose. So her face was just completely blurred out and all these like different shades of like dark pink and like weird fucking shadows. And her face looked like a fucking slab of Parma ham. And I was just like, oh my God, this is hilarious. And it was like, oh my God, Tony, you look like Parma ham. Ha ha ha. And we just cried of laughter. And she just looked at us and went, who's Paul Maham? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh my God. Foreigners. I'm so excited about this story. So this was like my second week living there. When I first moved in, Amy was really busy all the time, so I like bonded with Reese. Like we Amy spent like, like every you. day together. Well, no, hey, I'm 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 making it sound better. Oh. So I didn't know Amy that well, but I did know that she's scared of things 
in water. Things that aren't meant to be in water when they're in water. I had made bread that day. When I make bread, I'm really, really proud of it because it takes a lot of effort and I'm just very proud it of my own nice bread. bread. It she manages nice to do bread. something well. I make nice bread. bread. And then Amy started like slapping my bread with like this like spatula. <laughs> Slapping the bread, and I was like, Pout my life. Stop. Right about now, I'm. I spent like three hours making that bread, like, stop it. And then I ran after you, or like, I chased you, <laughs> and you ran into the bathroom. If someone chases you, like, don't run into a bathroom. I panic. Dumb idea. If you're in a horror movie, you die first. And I threw Amy in the shower, and I turned the shower on. In she my clothes. She had clothes on. She had clothes on. She, that, that's not okay. And this is something that should be respected because you can't control what you're scared of. And I didn't respect that at all. She's and this is not terrible. like me. I go out of my way to not upset people. And Amy just like ran into her room. And I was like, ha ha ha, that was so funny. And Reese and James were both like, wah, wah, well done. Like, yes, do it. All these things. Like, they were like cheering me on. And I was like, oh my god, this is really she got funny. in front of the crowd. Yeah. I <laughs> she was, was, I was thinking, off. This is really funny. Showboat. And I, like, I started feeling really bad. So I went to my room. And I was just stood there. And I was like, that was no, very nice didn't. of me. Because the time you were in the kitchen, Amy got the toilet paper and TP'd your room. Like a month later, I was still finding like toilet paper. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! god. That was so so funny. when I saved Reese as a contact on my phone, I spelled his name Reese. And everyone called Reese is used to like getting their name spelled wrong. Mm. But when you Not like, like when you live with someone and you save them as a contact, we live you, with like, them. Usually... We've been best friends for a year. We texted each other daily, hung out with each other daily. So I looked at that name like daily, like all the time. And never, I saw that name and I saw never realised. And then I screenshotted a picture, like a message or something, and I posted it on Twitter. She, Public to she the world. commented, oh, I can't believe so and so. And you commented, I can't believe you can't spell my fucking name. <laughs> and then she just died. And then you, the thing about Tony is that she laughs obsessively, like oh. over everything, all the time. So we'd be laying in our rooms, having a conversation on the WhatsApp. And we were just laying there, and you could just hear her going, Talking about fucking tone sounds or about a fucking milkshake clanking. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> there is a TV show that some people may know, RuPaul's Drag Race, my favourite fucking shit, Slay to the Queen. And my rule when we watch it, you cannot make irrelevant noises, like going, yes! Is it really that excitable? No. So it is, but you can yeah, do but like there's some it's yeah respect. you can just it's, it's respect just respect for others. So you can hear every word that's going on, get every action. You can't miss the shape. Tone drank a lot of chocolate milk. It's one of them, you, okay, st you stir it in, right? When you make a cup of tea or um, another milkshake, if you're a normal human being, you're quite quiet about you it. Stir it a few times. Stir it a few times, times then you drink it. Not fucking this cunt. She would have it in a tall glass pint glass mm. and the longest metal spoon. Right, so she was in the kitchen doing it and we were kind of like, okay, that's really annoying, but whatever, she's not that's in the same room. And then we were like, Tony, you come in or not? Like, do we, we want to watch it? So we just click play anyway. She comes yeah, strolling in fucking carry in, her, <laughs> in her everyday fucking outfit, which is the fucking dinosaur, dinosaur onesie. onesie. Every day of the week. Like She's we still were. clanking. Me and Amy are there like, well, I'm more there like. <sighs> I was, I was scared of Reese having a go at me for not for speaking, so I was focusing intently and I could just see him crawling closer and closer to my face on the pillow. I just looked round and I literally, it just looked like this. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill her. <laughs> she is absolutely like oblivious. She's just laying there like on her side facing the TV like clink, clink, clink. She stopped clink. and it was silent. And we just... And we were like, thank fuck that's over. We can watch this Two now. seconds later. Clank, 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 clank! I kicked her off the end of my fucking bed. The next morning, off. you came into my room and you gave me a hug and said, sorry, I'm on my period. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. We're never out of stories. We're never out of stories. We need to stop. I'm pretty sure there'll be like a part two of this. We'll think of more stories because a lot of funny stuff went down in that flat. We're just not very good at this. <clears> Grace like kind of coats. Oh, honourable mention. <laughs> Be horrible. But there is no happy. 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 There